Hey everybody, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program RP0. We are joining uh, Yegor again in orbit of the moon, as he is about to attempt his very authorized landing. Uh, first step is to make sure that we have our fuel. We do. And then everything here, we need to uh, unlock all of our things, except the aerozine, and basically get it uh, in working order. Oh, that one is a little low, so we're going to transfer from here. Out, out, out. We'll be transferring anything left over back in just as soon as we can. We just want to make sure he's got every available resource that he can. EVA. Now that life support is booted, he's going to uh, EVA out and gently maneuver uh, through these solar panels. Because we don't have uh, docking or uh, we can't move crew through these hatches yet. All right. So that has already started to drain. That's very interesting. All right, and let's uh, see where we are in relation to a prospective landing site very far away. We're gonna try to land over here somewhere. I know it looks absolutely terrible, but it uh, is, we can't land in the lunar seas anymore. We've done that twice now. And so we have no, like, we can't get any more science from that biome with the instrumentation that we have. So we're going to time warp around, probably to over here somewhere. Oh, would you look at that? We are in, we're traveling the opposite way around the planet, or around the moon, sorry, than we were the last time we were here. So we can just do this now, which is even better. Uh, undock and switch vessels all right and so now we're going to have to start activating our fuel which I really should have done beforehand because that controls all of our RCS oh I should have him grab the science from that uh, experiment all right and RCS on, stability control on. Okay, good. Our RCS system is working, and only the thrusters that I want to be working are working. That is even better. How about our electric charge? We are creating a draw, that is fine. All right, so I just need to go in here and find the last aerozine tank to be unlocked. I know, kind of a jungle in here, isn't it? There we go. Just wanna make sure we can use all of this fuel because uh, we're going to need it, like, a lot. Hmm. All right. So now then, I guess we can start planning our node. We're going to try to land very close to the... Uh, I might have to wait in orbit to do this. I might be too far along to land on the light side of the moon, but still in the biome we want. That's fine. It gives us time to clear the command pod. So we will set our node up over here somewhere, add maneuver. Now remember we only have four ignitions, which is quite a problem. Alright, uh, what's that going to cost us? 78 meters per second? Let's slide it back a bit. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, we'll just come off the load a little bit. And hopefully we can find a landing site somewhere in these interesting craters. That's a super interesting one. I just don't want to get off plane. But I think that is probably going to be our landing site. So let's drag this node back a little further. Yeah, that's pretty good, right? Ah, uh, no. Let's... Again. Let's just touch up the throttle a bit. There we go. 51.9. I wonder if we could do that on the back of this RCS. Get ourselves angled in. All right, Yegor. Do not fail me. 
Just watch the command pod drop away. That's really pretty. Oops. I did it again. Oh, it's only got three ignitions? Oh, no. All right, better make this count. Should have checked the map. I should have checked the map. Dang it. All right, it's off. Two ignitions remaining. Oh, damn it. Where are we coming down? All right, very close to where I thought we would be. God, come on. All right, well, let's uh, maneuver that's in 20 minutes. I wonder what our altitude there is. Let's find out. 16 kilometers. That's a bit too high still, I think. Add maneuver. That puts us at 10 kilometers, roughly. Burn time is eight minutes. We're gonna keep with that and hope to all that is high and holy that it works. Oh man, where's this node gonna be? The other way. Of course it's the other way. That's fine. Let's go ahead and get the gear out. Oh yeah. So very Kerbal. We'll lock the brakes as well. Don't necessarily need the lights on. I think we'll leave them off just to spare our batteries. Two ignitions. Uh, <laughs> I'm, this is... I'm so nervous. I've, now that I've actually done a successful lunar, crude lunar landing, I've never done one where I had limited ignitions on my descent stage. Or, or on my ascent stage, although my ascent stage has like 11 ignitions, so that is significantly less worrisome. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, good. So staging will activate my ascent stage. So just in case things go horribly, horribly awry, we can uh, abort back to orbit. Shame we'll lose all the quality science. Alright, and we are on node. We have 19 minutes until we are at node. We need to burn significantly before then. Uh, should we jump out and collect that? No, I think we're going to wait until we're on the surface. Just to be fair. What's well, our delta V reading? 2800 meters per second. 9 minutes burn. Eek. <laughs> It should be well more than enough to pull a landing, but I guess we'll find out. Quick save. Did a quick save. Thank you. Quick saving. Oh god, is that our shadow? Oh god, I'm over the burn. Ullage. Ignition. Okay, no, I'm still actually before the burn time. That's okay, just by five minutes. So hopefully this won't turn into a suicide burn, but it will be very close too, so that we don't waste a bunch of fuel trying to hover and I don't accidentally shut off the engine when I don't mean to. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. Check the map, where are we coming down? 
Yeah, it's going to get shorter and shorter every passing moment. So it does not look very smooth where I expect us to land. But I guess we'll see. All right. Uh, to avoid seven minutes of staring at this exact shot, we're just going to use some physics warp. Total delta V left, 1100 meters per second. So by by the numbers, we should have more than enough to land this thing. Hold on to it, Yegor. You can do this. So close. Two meters per second. And falling. I, I don't think I can throttle down anymore. We might reach cutoff. So if chasing that around... What I have to do... God, it doesn't maneuver very well at all. It's so heavy. And getting top heavier. Cancel that out, Yegor. Come on. Bring it back. Bring it back. Oh, God. You can't come in rolling, dude. Oh man, this is a hill. Shut down. Oh, don't roll, don't roll. Whew. All right, it looks like we're down. Although the wheels are doing their typical 1.1.3 thing. Let's turn off RCS. Turn off stability control. <laughs> well, we're down. We've landed in the bobbling wonder. This is going to be so much fun. <laughs> All right. Uh, no, our, yeah, that's right. It is the Sputnik antenna. Run your science. Oh, wait, no, that's it's a different key in this one. Telemetry from the moon's midlands. Yay! 18 science. Uh, we're going to have to transmit most of these back. Temperature scan from the midlands holding at 87 Kelvin or minus 186.2 degrees Celsius during the long night. It's not night. Uh, data from the Geiger Mueller gives us another 24. We don't get anything from the micrometeorite detector. Atmospheric pressure scan, reading zero, gives us 24 science. Accurate measurement of the gravitational forces gives us another 20 science. 20 science for our crew report. No comms on this vessel, cannot transmit data. He was doing that for all of them, wasn't it? Son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, we don't even have a relay, do we? Dang it. We're just... Yeah, we don't have anything with that kind of range. 
And but the good news is, is he can hop out and grab all of them. So we're just going to go ahead and EVA, if you don't mind, sir. Oh, I forgot to run the biological. Take data. Take data. This wobbling is just making me so nervous. All right, he's got to go back in and run the biological experiment, which I'm not sure if is biome specific. Is not. 40 science from the Moods Midlands. Brilliant. We'll keep that. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> It's like when you have a really old, busty Lincoln Continental with the airbag suspensions out, so you're just riding on the springs. That's what our Lem is doing. Just bouncing on the springs. We still cannot plant flags. Take surface sample. 160 science. We'll take that. And isn't that a nice little picture there? <laughs> the lander just slamming on his hydraulics. <laughs> He's so woke, yo. <laughs> and again, RCS pack doesn't work unless you... Oh, maybe it just doesn't work at all. You have to jump. Take. Got it. Yes. All right, this is going to be a challenge, so we're probably not going to make you watch all of it. Although, really, it's just the five, and I've got three, so there's two more. Collect. Remove. Alright, good. We got that. Oh, that one above the landing gear is going to be problematic. Collect. Remove. <laughs> I'm sorry, I really, I cannot stop laughing at how ridiculous this is. Oh, come on. Take. Got it. Oh, now I have a system. I know how to do this. <laughs> Did I already get that one? Oh no, that one gave us no data, so we reset it. That's right. Uh, EVA report? Can't forget that. Keep. Nice. <laughs> oh boy. Bored. Well, we landed on the moon! Hooray! I'm scared to time warp because... What is going to happen to this thing <laughs> in time warp with our bouncing suspension? I wonder if we're rolling down the hill. Should we try to take the brakes off and see if we can't get onto a flatter surface? I don't think anything's going to happen. Yeah, we're not moving. That's good. Good, good, good. Glad we're not moving. And we do still have an ignition in this, which we're not going to use. Because we don't need to. So why bother? It has its own core. It has solar panels. What it does not have is an antenna. And that's fine with me. So... We need to start planning for our rendezvous, set as target. Now, last time we learned that Mechjeb will lie to you and basically not tell you uh, the correct launch time for rendezvous. Uh, I ran right past it. Didn't I? Maybe. You know what? We're just gonna we're just gonna go for it lock. Alright, we need to shut down this engine. Which way are we going? I guess out to 270 degrees? Is that a way? Yeah? Yeah, maybe? Damn it, I don't even know. Shit. Let's move these up a stage. Alright. Stability control on. That tank is unlocked. 
we need to no nope, not that one this one and this one there's another tank in the bottom we're not going to worry about that all right so rcs on throttle set to full okay interesting whoa <laughs> bye little guy did not uh, did not foresee that happening <laughs> alright please tell me we're going the correct direction Roughly, I hope. Alright, unlock that tank as well. This engine does not gimbal, so we're... We just are where we are. Um, well, no, we have RCS. is the crux of that. That... <laughs> the thrust to weight ratio on that thing really spiked. Bummer that we won't have a relic of our second landing site, because we can't play flags yet. Alright, and I would like to get us to something. Oh, only 1,700 meters per second. Oh, because we don't have these tanks unlocked yet. Which I'm not going to do until after we finish getting our altitude burn, because I would like to unlock all of them simultaneously. <laughs> Goodbye. Lem descent stage. You served your purpose well. Quarter degree. Uh, I'll I'll accept that. Come on, come on. I guess, yeah, we should have been going up-ish. About halfway to altitude, we're being passed. Dang it. So I should probably keep my altitude lower so that when I do get to orbit, I can maintain higher speed. Although, man... <laughs> All right. So I'm probably going to speed the rest of this part up in post. Just because dockings are horribly boring. Yeah, it's really weird compressing over an hour of uh, docking footage into just a mere couple of minutes. But right there, that was our orbital insertion. And now we are getting lined up to make our inclination change. And then just a couple of little quick uh, taps on the RCS. I actually did not use the main engine until I was trying to go for docking and there I've got my closest inclination burn or my closest inclination and now uh, instead of just going through a normal docking procedure I just uh, use the RCS thrusters to push myself toward my target keeping an eye on the separation of closest approach and time to closest approach until I've got them somewhere I need it. There was my last burn of the main engine and has put me on a very close trajectory. So I just need to switch to the service module, get it angled in the correct direction. And now that I've got everything lined up, from here on out, it's actually just coasting. Uh, that's why I kind of slowed that footage down from the normal 32X to a measly 8X is just to kind of show just a couple of little quick taps here and there rotate ourselves to get better alignment and then just slowly coast it on in beautiful <laughs> and that was the most inefficient way ever to do uh, a rendezvous but uh, once you get it lined up right man I spent the last five minutes of that just coasting in and relaxing which is the exact opposite of what I did last time and I feel pretty happy about that. So as it looks now, Yegor is going to go home and be uh, safe and a hero. 
for doing the first muck up free lunar landing. Uh, let's just see if we can get the uh, return trip to be as muck up free. So uh, thanks for hanging out, everybody. I do appreciate it. And um, I know this is a couple of days late, but uh, big thanks for helping me get to 50 subscribers. That's huge. Uh, I never thought anybody would really want to watch these silly videos of me just playing video games, but you have vindicated my hobby, and for that I am eternally grateful to each and every one of you. So uh, I hope you'll keep coming back, and um, let's have some fun. So thanks and stuff. I'm bad at these things, if you can't tell. <laughs> so uh, big thanks to everybody. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for being a subscriber. Thanks for making me feel like this is, you know, important to somebody. Because, I don't know, I have a lot of fun doing it, and I want to keep doing it. So I'm going to. Thanks. All right, that's enough of that. <laughs> I will see all of you later. Have a good one.